Hi friends, today we're going to read Walter's Wonderful Web by Tim Hopka. Walter's Wonderful Web by Tim Hopgood. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined. So one morning, he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully, he made a small web in the shape of a triangle. Whoosh! The wind blew, and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time, he made a bigger web in the shape of a square. Whoosh, went the wind, and it blew the web away. Walter sighed and started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of a rectangle. Whoosh, went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter sighed. Then he stretched his legs and made a taller web in the shape of a diamond. Whoosh, whoosh, went the wind. And it blew that web away too. Perhaps my webs should be more round, thought Walter. So he climbed up and down. He twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? Nearly. It wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect circle and it looked strong. See Walter in his big web? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh went the wind. Poor Walter hit the ground with a bump. How do you think that made Walter feel? Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up. But as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath and set to work. Whoosh, went the wind, but it didn't stop Walter or his web, not this time. And as the stars came out, Walter's web shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. You see Walter's web? Wow, look at that. These are some of the shapes.
from Walter's webs. You need a triangle, you need a rectangle, you need a diamond, you need a circle, and you need a square. And there's Walter. The end.